name's Walter Hardesty. I'm a rancher. I'm what you'd call a cow-calf producer. I breed cows and calve them out every year and then I sell the calves off at the end of the year. My family's owned this ranch since 1954. Before that we were in Porterville, California and before that my dad came from Idaho and my mom from Oklahoma. So ranching's been in our family for years. I have predominantly Angus cows. There's some other mixtures, some Hereford and Simmental genetics mixed in. I ranch here and my, my sons became a rancher and my daughter ranches with me also. So the whole family's involved. In the cow herd, a cow is supposed to raise a calf for you every year to be profitable. And it's all about making a profit at the end of the year. We love what we do, but you have to be able to make a profit to be able to afford to do what you do. So if a cow does not get pregnant, then she is not useful in the herd and becomes a liability instead of an asset. So we preg check the cows every year to make sure that they're all pregnant and that there's not anything wrong with them or your bulls. So today we, we, we're actually, it's something that I haven't done in the past. I'm drawing blood to preg test just like people do. Um, in the past, they palpated the cows. A veterinary would check them manually. But this seems like it's a less stressful, easier way to do it, so I wanted to try it. We gather all the cows in the corral so they're manageable. And then we separate off small groups and just run them into the alleys and bring them in one at a time and just draw a little sample of blood and let them out. So it doesn't harm them and they get fairly used to doing it after a few years and, and don't mind it so much. <laughs> we take the blood sample and then the, each cow has an identification number and we put that number on the vial and then we package them, package them all up and send them to a lab in Turlock. And I will have the results within three days usually. After we get the results, then we know which cows are pregnant and which ones aren't. The ones that are pregnant all get vaccinated and dewormed and turned back out into the herd. Any that aren't pregnant, then they get sold into the food system. I, I raise my calves for about 10 months. They're born in February and I wean them about the 1st of September and then I'll sell them about November. At that time they're usually seven or eight hundred pounds. When I sell them they will go to a stalker operation which will turn them out for a couple months on feed and they'll gain a, an additional couple hundred pounds and then they will sell them to a feedlot or retain ownership and send them to the feedlot and they will be fed out for a minimum of 120 days with a grain ration to marble the meat and make it nice and fat for everybody to enjoy. This year, we calved 152 cows. Out of those 152, I had eight sets of twins. So I actually have a few more calves to sell than <laughs> I have cows producing them, which is a plus side. <laughs> some, some ranchers do artificial breeding, myself, I have typically eight or 10 herd bulls that get turned out with the cows. So it's, it's all natural. I run the, run the bulls with the cows for about 70 days. And the cows are required to get pregnant within 70 days. If they don't get pregnant in that time, it's either because they had a problem or they're not very fertile. So not being fertile is not a trait that you want in the herd, so you usually don't give them a second chance. 